Testing one, two, Mr. Bill Peter is back with yeah. us today. We love you, Bill. We have a nice service planned, and we're going to be talking about treasures in heaven. What a nice topic that is. What we should all be shooting for. Nice service plan. We're going to start off with some worship right now. We're going to start with one called I'm in this church. If we can stand together, let's sing, sing this song. and Moses and Megan are not here today and all of us, Ivory and Judah, they're not with us. They're coming down tomorrow, but they had some problems today getting here. So I'm the announcement yeah. guy. Yeah. And so, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not very funny. I look funny, but I don't... <laughs> you know, uh, we have a few announcements that I want to give you today. We do have a celebration of life tomorrow. Um, Bill Peters, Doris Peters, is a celebration of life tomorrow. She is going to have a viewing at the funeral uh, home in Juncture City at Musgrove between 9 and 11. And then, of course, the celebration of life will be at 1 o'clock. Um, and afterwards, there'll be a committal, yeah. I mean, where we go out to the graveyard and, uh, you know, and bury her out there. And then we'll come back and there'll be a, re a reception here. So I invite you to come. 
um, at one o'clock tomorrow and stuff, and we'll be reminiscing and thinking about Doris. There should be a slideshow and some different things that that's going to be at this situation. And so we're our heart goes out to Mr. Bill there and stuff, but it's going to be a, a wonderful day of celebrating her life, and we're excited about it. Doris was such a sweetheart. I won't get into that right now and everything, but uh, I, you're invited to go to that. Also, we wanted to go ahead and bring some acknowledgement to a few kids, Isaiah and Alicia and Ava, would you stand and stuff? Because they came down here and they did work. They ended up washing the chairs and washing the floor and mopping the floor and working like crazy. Thank you, kids. You may be seated. They're good kids. Also, we have another announcement. The 4th of July is coming. As if you didn't know. <laughs> I don't have much to say about it. I'll be down here parking cars and stuff. If you want to come down and see me, I'll park your car. Over there, you know how I do it. So. Anyway, it's coming pretty soon, and we're excited about that. And that's about all the announcements we have. Yes, Betty. But I have an announcement. Yes. Um, I'm going to be moving to Hawaii, and I have an apartment full of furniture, and <coughs> I'm willing to let it go for, like, really reasonable, whatever donation you want to donate towards my ticket, or if you're <coughs> in need and don't have money, then I would be more than happy to do that as my uh, <coughs> gift to you for your family if you need anything. It's kitchenware, it's clothing, it's blankets, it's towels. It's pretty much everything because I'm limited to two suitcases and a double bag. So um, let me know what's needed for families and I'll see if I can get it to you within the next couple of weeks. Next Saturday and Sunday is when things are really going to be getting down to the nitty gritty. Because okay. hopefully I'll be gone the following week. All right. Betty, yeah, she's moving to Hawaii. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Anyway, Betty lives right across the street in the first apartment. If you want to know about it, just come to us afterwards. But she'll be around. So, yes, Char. Will you just, just the sign-up sheet for a trip directory, please, up there? Oh, is it? Or should we get it going, did you say? Or no, just, no, no, just that people are aware of it. To let just, them know what we're doing. Leisure. We're trying to make something where we have everybody's name on file so everybody can know who everybody is and what yeah. their numbers are and things like that. So we've started a roster, Char started one, and uh, I was looking for some of the names of the ones. Yeah, I wonder how to get a hold of so-and-so, and, and you've taken it with you. So yes, I do. Here, I'm the pastor. I don't even know how to get a hold of some people. So. so it's nice to have that register. And stuff. So if you have a chance and you ever want me to get a hold of you and stuff, put your name down there, and I'll harass you a little bit. Maybe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Okay. Well, right now we're going to worship some more. Oh, no, we have scripture. Right now we're going to, Ezra's going to read some scripture first. Oh, it's Yeah. We have the giveaway right now. chance for somebody to go ahead and make their income for the week and stuff. We have a giveaway, four giveaways and stuff for the children. <laughs> stickers for acting good in church and she's been doing wonderful. Ava. Ava.
fast announcement giver way or whatever you want to call it. Here's a scripture. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She shall she deliver to thee. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Praise the Lord. Talking about treasures in heaven, notice how he talks about wisdom as being a she. Wisdom as being a she. That's interesting. He must have come to my house. Yeah. Because that's where the wisdom comes from my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. That's not really true. I mean, I'm not kidding. She is, she is wise. And so my silliness, I've got two feet. They're both inserted in here right now. So we're going to sing right now. Let's sing I Walk by Faith right now. Here we go. <laughs>
Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for this opportunity to intercede. And this time together when we pray, Lord, it's such a powerful moment that we all have special needs and things, Lord, and that you are the great physician, you are the great answer to all of our prayers, Lord. You give us patience and comfort and all of these fruits of the Spirit that we need to go ahead and be examples of you. And so, Lord, help us again, Lord. Strengthen us as we petition these things to you, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you would, first of all, we want to hold up Connie, who has been struggling this last week, Lord, who lost her kitty cat and death, got hit in the street. And I know how important pets can seem to us. And I have some too, Lord, and it would be really devastating to lose one like that. And so, Lord, I pray that you would just comfort Connie and help her to be uh, to get through this trial and uh, and just bless her, Lord. Keep, fill her back up with joy. And I know it seems like an empty house now, but the thing is, is Lord, when you take something away, you give back something better. And so that's what we're clinging to, Lord. We, you, you're so faithful in doing just that. So, Lord, bless her and encourage her right now, Lord. Also, Lord, we want to hold up Bill, who is, um, you know, getting ready for Doris' a celebration of life. I just pray that you would just surround him with your love. And I just feel like that I, he touches my heart so much. And just because of the love that he has, not only for Doris, but for you, Lord. He is so, so strong through all of this. And I just pray that you would just continue to bless him and encourage him and just uh, keep, keep him filled with joy, knowing that there's something better coming and that it's going to be the greatest reunion of all times when the time comes for us to be together. But like Paul says, there still may be some things here on earth that you want us to do. And so, Lord, I pray that you would just touch Bill and just encourage him and bless him, Lord, through this trial. And we just hold him up to you, and we know that you love him a lot, Lord. And so we just pray that you would continue to bless him and carry him through this time. Also, Lord, we want to hold up Pat Mann, who is seeming to be struggling. Lord, she's got some... Um, inside problems and uh, some physical problems, Lord, and I just pray that you would bless her, encourage her, and help her, and especially, Lord, help Denda, too, as she's trying to care for her and give her. So keep them full of joy, keep them strong, keep them energetic, Lord, and help them to be, uh, you know, just, just be available and just help them to just be encouraged through all this that they're going through. We're so thankful for them, Lord, and especially how Denda has been helping so much with the youth and everything. What a blessing it is. God, you just seem to come through. When one door closes, you open another, and you just are just so full of surprises and full of love and mercy. Lord, we just are so thankful for that. We thank you so much. Lord, just bless Denda and Pat. Encourage them and strengthen them. Also, Lord, we have Rod, who is... Uh, struggling with his foot and he's got an appointment tomorrow and he has to come up with a certain amount of money and and I and he's needing an operation on his foot and he has just been going back and forth on the diagnosis of what it is wrong with his foot and what to do and how to do it so Lord I pray that you would just bless him and encourage him and strengthen him Lord and help him to be provided for the needs that he has and I'm just so thankful that he's here to hear your word today, Lord, for, you know, all good things come from you. And when we acknowledge you and put you first, you have a way of doing things in our life and not just taking care of the things that we've lost, but by giving us something better. And so, Lord, we cling to that thought. We're thankful that you hear our prayer about Rob today. And for those who have special requests and needs that didn't get it into me to, for me to announce now, I pray that you touch them at their needs and bless them, Lord. For we all have certain things that we're dealing with and struggling with. And so often we feel like that they're just not big enough to go ahead and bring it to me. But Lord, you care about the smallest things in people's lives. And so, Lord, I pray that you would just bless every single person that is here today with a need and just help them to to get their answers and just get through it gracefully. And I just pray that you bless each and every person. So we thank, thank you, Lord, again, for having this opportunity to intercede in this time of prayer. We just turn this service over to you and we ask for a special blessing on your word too today that it might touch our hearts and encourage us as we go through our walk, our Christian walk out in the world. 
And so, Lord, we thank you again. We turn our service over to you and thank you for everything. We ask for all of these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for praying with me. Um, can we have our ushers come forward? Yeah. That's, you want to help with anyone? Okay. Okay, Bill, would you? <laughs> you know who I was going through next. <laughs> We pray that you give with a whole heart, and uh, we know that you will. Here's a song that we're going to be doing called, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Thank you. 